Hey guys, Ripper the Rager. Hope you're having a fantastic day, and welcome to another Lawbreakers Roll Guide. Today we will be covering the Titan Roll. The Titan Roll is your classic big hulking tank. Um, not as much health as the Juggernaut, but only by 100 points, so they're basically kind of the same. Uh, but the difference is that the Titan may not have as much health or armor as the Juggernaut does, but he does have a lot of damage output. And the rocket launcher is just too fun to use. The crisper secondary light weapon lightning gun thing that he has, just too fun to use. Just overall a great, great class to have some fun with. Anyway, enough of me jabbering about how great the Titan is. Let me show you some numbers as to how great it is. So first off the melee, not very impressive. A standard 75 damage per kick. Uh, you know, just normal hit, standard across the board. Uh, then we move on to the hammerhead rocket launcher. The rocket launcher will deal 175 damage direct at long range and 225 direct damage at medium or short range. Uh, so it's kind of interesting because instead of having a massive damage drop off like every other class, uh, being that it is a rocket and all of the forces compact within the device, it retains most of its damage even at its most extreme range, which is 175 damage. Uh, and that's hitting someone directly, so it's giving you a damage buff when you're hitting them directly uh and then it is a prox it's basically 225 mid and short so there's not even a change between medium range and short range so you can engage at medium range you can engage at short range it doesn't really matter uh because you're gonna get the same direct damage and then you're gonna get the same uh aoe damage so if you notice it explodes when it hits the ground or i can manually detonate it we'll talk about that later but um yeah, it explodes. When it explodes and it's just an AoE and it doesn't directly contact, you won't get a damage bonus, but it will still output 130 damage uh, approximately. It shifts uh, about, you know, two or three points, depending on how close they are to the blast uh, without actually hitting it. So uh, generally just keep in mind that it's 130 at all ranges for the AoE. Uh, moving on to the secondary weapon, which is the CRISPR. The CRISPR does 25 damage at all ranges. That's the maximum range, the minimum range, the, the you know, all at all damage ranges, it'll do 25. But the fun thing about the CRISPR is the lightning that it puts out will actually chain to enemies. So uh, if there are, say, two or three enemies standing on the objective, you can come in with the CRISPR, and instead of just being like, oh, I'm gonna do some damage here to this one guy with the CRISPR, uh, hitting one will actually chain it to the rest. So you'll be dealing uh, 25 to each of them, which is pretty neat. Uh, then moving on to the first ability, which is the Neutron Mine. The Neutron Mine will slow enemies who stand near it uh, when it's act once it's activated. It works best in zero gravity, uh, I found. So normal gravity, it's not really going to affect much because they're already uh, being weighed down by normal gravity. So it kind of fucks with them a little bit. But I, I found the best way to use this is to throw it in like a zero G zone or the entrance to a zero G zone and uh, have them run into it. When they run into it, they get slowed down significantly because they're just kind of free floating and they basically lose almost all of their inertia, which is really good. Uh, this device will last uh, 3.5 seconds after it is activated and it will actually stay on the ground until it is activated. So you can actually throw a neutron mine out wait for the cooldown of the neutron mine and then you'll have two of them you'll have one on the ground and one in your pocket so that's very good for like uh, just throwing something quick on the objective note it will not deal damage to an enemy uh there is no damage from the neutron mine it just slows them so moving on to the next ability which is pulverize that you see me uh kind of do that ground pound thing uh here and there so pulverize will deal 125 at all ranges there's no direct uh you know impact there's no um damage bonus for hitting direct or anything it's just 125 at all ranges uh and that includes even if you hold it to charge it up so it's kind of like uh the valkyrie or not the valkyrie i'm sorry the vanguard i always call it the valkyrie uh it's kind of like the vanguard's uh ultimate where even if you hold it holding it is just to help you gain more control and target somebody with it rather than um actually adding any damage or anything to it so holding it is good for if you want to turn a corner and you want to jump on somebody but you don't want to have to hit the button and at, at the perfect time you can kind of set up before and you can hold left shift and then just release it and jump onto the point which is basically the only use for holding it otherwise just smash uh left shift and you know hope for the best Moving on to the ultimate for the uh, Titan, which is Berserk, or as I like to call it, UNLIMITED POWER! Love this ability. It's freaking cool. So, it works exactly how you expect it to work. Um, 
it basically doubles your player model, so it makes you a bigger target, but that also basically doubles your health, which is really fun. Uh, and then you get these dual lightning hands, like fucking, you know, Emperor Palpatine, just, just unlimited power, and it's a fucking hilariously good to use. Uh, not the strongest ult in the world, and uh, in terms of both the health gain and the damage, either one, they're they're both kind of weak, but they're not they're not super weak, not super great. It's kind of a situational thing. It's kind of like if you kind of get the drop on somebody with it, more or less, or you're trying to be a big distraction. Uh, so anyway, the damage will deal 32 per hit. So basically, you become a big crisper. Uh, so instead of dealing 25, you're gonna deal 32. So you have slightly more damage than the crisper, but the fun thing is you don't run out of ammo, so it has unlimited ammo. You can continuously hold down left click and fuck people up. Uh, be warned though, you do lose all of your abilities during this, so you need to be very careful with how you position yourself before you ult, because you will not have your stomp, you will not be able to use your launcher to rocket jump around, you won't be able to do any of that, so be very careful as to where you are in, uh, you know, relative space. Uh, so it acts just like Chris Burke can also chain from the main target. So if I'm hitting, uh, you know, uh, an assassin and a juggernaut standing next to him, it'll chain the lightning effect straight to him as well. So I'll hit both targets. Uh, something else to keep in mind is that you will gain 400 HP to your current health pool. Now, uh, what some people I've seen uh, comment about and some people have kind of misconstrued it as uh, you will gain 900 HP. And I was one of those people, so I should know. Um, I thought you just gained 900 HP, but upon further inspection uh, over playtime, I found out that no, in fact, you don't go all the way up to 900 HP, you go 400 HP higher than you currently were. So if I have 500, I'll go up to 900, but if I have, uh, four, if I have 300, I'll only go up to 700, which I think they should fix. I think they should buff that. That's a little unfair. Uh, I can kind of see why they wouldn't do that, so people can't uh, hold it like an instant pocket to get health back. But at the same time, it's kind of annoying that you can't, uh, you know, use it to stay alive, which seems to be the whole point of the health game. Uh, seems how the 900 HP melts pretty fast. Anyway, I don't think having 900 HP would make you super beasty, but hey, that's just me. Anyway, on to the personal tips. I, I got a little bit of a rant there about buffing it, um, but on to the personal tips. We have the first one, this actually pertains to the ult. Do not ult in an enemy's face, you will die very quickly. Like I just said, the 900 HP that you have, even even gaining all the way up to 900, even with a battle medic uh, throwing an orb on you, thus getting you up to like 1050 with a shield, uh, no, it's still, you're going to get shot very quickly as a titan because it makes a very loud noise and a very big spectacle when you ult. So it does this like, bah, and you know, you're now you're walking around with this giant beast and everybody can clearly tell that you're using your ult and you're walking around and people are like, oh, that's a bad thing. We need to kill that. So do not ult directly in front of an enemy. That is a terrible, terrible idea. You will die every single time. You might get some damage off, but you will not get the kill unless they're already damaged. You will die so fucking fast. Uh, number two is to use Rocket Blind Fire in Zero G. So I found this as a kind of a combo effect. So most people use their Rocket in Zero G to Blind Fire behind them and move faster, uh, which is good. But I found a better use for this, which is you can use the Rocket in Zero G to Blind Fire behind you, thus sending you forward, but aim yourself towards an enemy, like directly towards an enemy instead of just moving around. And instead of using the Rocket to attack them in Zero G, I found that halfway through the flight, you should pull out your CRISPR and then start soaking them. So rock, so go into zero G, rocket blind fire behind you, and then mid flight, switch it up to your CRISPR and start holding down left click. And uh, you'll float into the enemy while crisping them, which is pretty, pretty good. Uh, it doesn't work the greatest, but then again, the Titan, not a lot of things work the greatest without his rocket launcher. So that's about it on that front. Uh, and then abusing the right click. So earlier I said that I could manually detonate the rockets in the rocket launcher. So you can left click to fire the rocket and then at any point in its travel life you can actually hit right click to manually uh, make it explode and detonate it mid-air which is extremely important to the Titan class. That's why I said you need to abuse the right click. So be sure to lead your shot. Uh, you need to shoot where the enemy's going, not where they're at. So that you know, kind of goes without saying it's a slow moving rocket. So you'll need to shoot where the enemy's gonna be, not where they're at. Um, so it's, it's, it's kind of part of mastering Titan is learning to detonate midair, 
Uh, but once you have that down, you'll be pretty good with Titan. You won't be a god, but, you know, as long as you com combo your kit together with that, then you should be pretty alright for doing damage. Um, maybe not getting a million kills, but you'll at least do a good chunk of damage to the enemy. And uh, I think that is about it for the uh, tips. I think uh, rocket jump, I can, I'll throw that in. Rocket jumping goes without saying. This is kind of important. Um, there's a little kind of HP shield, I guess, you get when you spawn. So you can kind of rocket jump twice at, directly out of spawn before the shield goes away. Or It's not really a shield. It's more of like a spawn invincibility thing that makes it so you don't hurt yourself until like three seconds after you spawn or something. I don't know. It's, it's strange. But yes, rocket jumping. Um, it'll inflict like 70 self damage whenever you rocket jump. Uh, so, you know, keep that in mind. Uh, also, another tip I had was you can use Pulverize to go up little ledges. So instead of rocket jumping and hurting yourself, trying to go up a little ledge that you can't jump up to, uh, you can actually jump and mid-jump. You can hit left shift and add basically a, a second jump in there. Do like a double jump so you can land on top of something. You'll barely land on ledges usually, but you will land on them. And you won't have to hurt yourself rocket jumping just to get up to an area you want to get up to. But that is it. I think I've talked about everything with the Titan. Uh, you know, let me know if I missed anything. Let me know if there's any tips that you guys have uh, for anybody that maybe I missed. Uh, I put in a good bit of time with the Titan. I put in, I try to put in a lot of time with all the classes, try and find uh, unique little ideas to you know play around with and uh, little combos to try out, uh, things to make me better with the class. So when I make these reviews, I know what I'm talking about. Uh, but yeah, if I forgot anything, do leave it in the comments below. I really encourage that. And uh, yep, that is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed, and if you did, then do the usual. Like, subscribe, check out my streams, and I will see you guys in the next video. Reef of the Rager, signing off.